What's good guys, The Novice, back again with another review. Project Power, movie review. Okay, so now this movie is starring Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and some other girl that I don't care about. <laughs> um, but seriously, I don't care about her. How do I sum up this movie? Speaking of people I don't, things I don't care about. It's a good idea to me, the, the, the world that this is, but I don't like the execution. And I, I realise why. It's because something that's always troubled me. Uh, here's how I see this world. I see this world as grit. Or trying to be grit. Mixed with powers. Mixed with kind of anime-like visuals. Super like uh, hero. Comic book visuals. Uh, people with... Or like Last Airbender visuals. Do you know what I mean? And the reason why I didn't like it in this movie... It's because, it's funny, when they tried to be more emotional, I couldn't stop thinking about the superpowers, the the boss fights, the people with interesting powers. The Stranger Things, pun intended, shout out to Stranger Things the show, that stuff, that stuff is more interesting to me and keeps me more invested than the story. But you need good story to be invested in the characters. So I'll start with what I like first, and I'll get into my criticisms. Uh, speaking of stuff that you need to be invested in, I like the idea that this, as far as the public knows, what's uh, to, to describe this world for people who don't know, this world is essentially about three characters. Uh, one of them is a former soldier. One of them is a police officer. And the other one is a young teenage girl uh all involved in crime but specifically crime to do with people with superpowers because in this part of new orleans where they're at the people with superpowers and they're popping off and it's to do with this new this mysterious like forces that are lying in wait right now that's again, you see why that sounds like a good idea. When you start watching the movie and you realize, oh, there are people with so many interesting powers, you start to see that, oh no, you know what? For someone like me who wants to concentrate more on how the limits of those powers, on like the visual storytelling, the storytelling to do with that kind of stuff, that's when that that's the peak of it. It stops getting interesting. They always give you peaks of power as opposed to. What are the power? I understand the fear. I guess as a storyteller, you want to make sure that you don't show, you don't like overstimulate people and make it seem like really kooky. Like, I, I guess that's people's issues with stuff like the CW, um, like certain adaptations of uh, like Thor Ragnarok, I guess. They, they don't want people to not take it seriously. But we live in a time where I'm in my mid twenties now. Ever since the very early two thousands, you've been seeing like more and more superhero adaptations, and people want to take it more seriously. But I'm worried that you're trying to take yourself so seriously that you just don't that you miss the point. Like superheroes are, they're not people who operate by the same logic as this real world. Uh, I'll give an example in this movie. Now, in this movie. You see a guy with powers that's essentially like OP and they don't tease it until the end. Uh, it's it's the main character. I can't say who. No spoilers. When you see it, it looks great visually. But it only lasts for like a couple of moments and then it goes away. And that just makes me sad because I, I would prefer... When I think of this kind of world like the streets mixed with powers... I think about something that can take lethal weapon. Even the first season of Daredevil, even though that that's I hate to use this word, that's grounded. It doesn't really have people with powers like that. Um Scott Pilgrim, uh, I I'll use that as an example. Scott Pilgrim visually. Something like that, or even slightly above that, mixed with they're trying to be grit like a uh, very street uh dramas. Uh, like crime dramas that you see and all that stuff 
But for me, that that was my big um, issue watching it. That like, even though uh, I, I could barely, I could barely get past that big thing in my mind watching it. It's just the the, the execution. I don't like it. I couldn't stop thinking about Code Eight when I was watching this movie. Code Eight, for people who don't know, I did a review on it. It's a movie starring uh, Robbie and Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver Queen in the CW series Arrow. And in that movie, it's already a matter of fact that the the people with superpowers. But the issue comes from the government and people with. It's treated more like a almost like a dystopian. A, t- a tiny bit, not not over the top with it, but just like a, ma- a matter of fact. But that's not the point of that movie. The point of that movie is, you know, you know your place, you stay in line. Almost like an underclass, like a separate society thing. But with this, it felt like it was trying to be more straightforward. Like, oh, how do you attack this problem of a guy who is so strong, he could take out anyone in the, in the police station. It doesn't matter. How do you handle a guy who can affect this? Almost like okay, I'll give I'll give a good example. The Flash, season one and two. Um, I stopped paying attention truly after those seasons. <clears throat> but that's another thing. I just that was going through my mind so much watching this movie that the the good things here and there they were just like moments. So there's a there's a scene with someone who with, with powers who finally shows at the end, like a moment of openness. I like again the idea of Joseph Gordon Gordon Levitt as the undercover cop investigating people's powers. I like the idea of Jamie Foxx's character investigating people's powers with his expertise as a soldier. I, I like the idea of the streets and people struggling with that, but I wanted to see that more. Like certain criminals, uh, what what is it like to be a criminal boss or even a lower level criminal who gets powers and becomes the top dude? What is it like to be? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I, I, they need to squeeze more from this world to get me in, but they also need to be more simplistic. Like, um, as far as just bad guys and heroes, like people fighting crime. I just wanted that. I, I want, I want Spider Man. Also want like stuff that you wouldn't, that people would not, would maybe like um, hold hold the studio or. The, the directors and writers from really showing you in a Marvel or DC film, which is, again, the, the street politics of having uh, superpowers. What would it be like uh, to, to really combat in a, in a smart way, like, like a chess master? What would it be like to combat this uh, as far as police in the area, police in the area with people with superpowers? It just felt like they were poking at those kind of topics. And that's why, for me, most of this movie is more like underwhelming than not, unfortunately. That, that's, uh, I, I, try, I tried. I was telling myself, I'm going to say good things about this movie. As soon as I started press recording, it just, I just went into like a, a endless rant, more or less. So, guys, that's my thoughts, essentially, in this movie. Underwhelming. I like the idea of it, not the execution. Um, tell me what you guys think down below. Do you like this movie? Do you not like this movie? And you have like concerns like me? Either way, tell me what you think. If you like this video, please press that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you like this, but you don't have to. You just check out my other videos if you if you like what you see. Other than that, salute. See you guys later.